All right. So, I'll make a little short video right quick. Because I've been seeing people towing cars, you know, strapping them down, and they either don't be strapped down right or they, you know, don't be secured properly or whatever the case may be. So, I'm going to shoot a video right quick showing y'all how I strap down vehicles. Not saying it's the only way, not saying it's the 100% best way, but it's a secure method to strap down a vehicle. So with all that being said, let's get into this video. All right, so what we got here is, we got our ratchet strap, uh, J hooks on the end of it. These are gonna be J hooks. We got a axle strap, uh, rated at what's the 3,333. Pounds working load, 10,000 pound braking strap. Those come from Harbor Freight. Uh, I think the straps, if I'm not mistaken, they come from Home Depot. So, I already got the vehicle um, on the trailer or whatever. I already did one side. I'm gonna just come over here and show y'all right quick. Got on the end right there, hooked down to my D-ring. Oh, the strap in the back back there. That's what I got going on there. Go on to the front. Now, the way I got it did right now, I got the winch holding one side. Um, depending on how far I'm going, I don't just have the winch holding it by itself. I have another over here. Another ratchet strap. And it goes, some vehicles have, if you look up under there right here, some vehicles have Little tow hooks in the front that can be used. If not, get yourself a set of uh, axle straps. Put them around the front, A arms, or sub frame, whatever the case may be. All right. So this is a brand new axle strap here. Let's bust these joker open real quick. that open damn like I said there's several ways to do this what we're doing today is a, is an X pattern um so y'all can see up in there I'm gonna get around both of these lower arms down here boom like so Boom, both one together, all free. I'm gonna take the long end of my uh, ratchet strap, the J hook in, insert this part into those two. Boom. All right, got those part that, those two parts in. I'm gonna come around this side. Grab my strap and pull. Hope it don't jump out. Boom, got it. All right. Put my other end up to my D ring on my trailer. Pull all the slack out of the ratchet strap itself. All right, my bad, y'all. That was a phone call though. All right, so what I said was, I twisted the strap to get it out of bind. Uh, I got it in the bind, but just for demonstration purposes only. Pull it, get all of it out, all the tension out. All right. All right. So, got that ratchet, all right? Good tension in it. Not too much. You get one more pull. Like mine a little bit tight. Not super tight, but just really have good tension on both of them. Check both of them. Take the other end of my strap. I'm going to roll it up. Like so. That ain't the best strap roll up. Oh. 
All right, got my strap rolled up. Got my ratchet strap pushed back down all the way to the closed position. Got good tension here. Get that paper up. Got good tension on the other one. Uh, got it pretty secure up on it though. I got the J hooks pointing down so it won't slip out. Like so. Come around to the front. And I got a secure up here as well. That's pretty much it though. So. Alright, that pretty much get it. Just in case anybody had trouble trying to figure out how to strap down the vehicle. Whether you, you know, towing a car for somebody, towing your own car in a U-Haul trailer, using a friend trailer to tow a vehicle. That's a good way to, you know, strap down the vehicle. Like I said, there are other ways to do it. It's just the way that our person to do it. So hopefully this video here gonna help somebody out that had trouble trying to find out how to use a ratchet strap or tie down a vehicle. There you go. Peace.